Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn few concepts in Chrome extension development. Uh, we are going to take a uh, look on Chrome Alum API as well as the Chrome Notification API. Already we have learned few things about the Chrome notification, but we are going to learn that again. And primarily, the focus will be on the Chrome Alarm uh, extension. So already I have created an extension. Let me give you that demo. So as usual, we'll go to our Chrome colon slash slash extensions and we'll enable our uh, developer mode. Once that is done, you have to click on this load unpacked and then we have to navigate to our project folder. So here I have created a project called drink water. Uh, if I go inside that and here few files are there, uh, you have to just click on this like select folder. And here you can select we got this drink water and with a description like build an extension and it's going to be very simple here you can see something like service worker if you see other extension they are using like background pages um, those are belongs to chrome extension manifest version 2 but in this video i'm going, going to focus on manifest version 3 mostly same uh, the architecture is little different but the coding part is going to be mostly same and only one thing is changed for now but there is a lot of new things to learn in manifest version 3 probably we will uh, learn that in our upcoming videos okay so let's get started now so here uh, once we add the extension if you go to this guy and you have to click on this pin so that we can see our extension okay now uh, if i click on this our extension icon which has a pop-up page and once i click on that it's very simple page actually one button is there like set alarm okay i'm going to click on that and here we are getting error uh, we'll try to fix that maybe later on and here what will happen in the sense like once we start uh, once we click on the set alarm like for each and every minute it will give us notifications like drink water so basically just like drink water is just to give you some project idea the basic idea here is like if you want to build some notification reminder or something like which will keeps you notification based on the time you are going to give for here uh, for in this example i have given like one minute so after each and every minute it will remind me to drink water okay um, of course it can be set to like your um, uh, like five minutes ten minutes based on the user requirement uh, first of all, let me disable this. Okay, so after one minute, we can see a notification like uh, drink water, have a sip of water, something like that. Okay, so it's a very simple idea actually, but the learning here is the Chrome Alarm API. Okay? And here you can see like stay hydrated, have a sip of water, human. <laughs> okay, so that's the message. Like this, we'll get for each and every minute. Okay, I can clear this, like I can just drag and clear this, or else I can just leave. As it is it will go in like 10 or 15 seconds again after few times uh, I like again after the minute it will again remind me let's wait and watch that of course I'm going to skip that portion so we can take a look on that so here you can see like we got the another message like uh, stay hydrated have a sip of water right so that's a very simple extension but the learning is really good okay and let's get started now instead of like typing each and every line it's going to be very simple actually like 10 or 15 lines so already i have the project i'm going to show the demo for that okay so let me bring up my uh, code editor which is our favorite vs code of course um and this guy will keep on notification as uh, let me clear this okay so once i clear this then again we'll get the new notification okay so before getting into this let me show you what i have okay so here i have like alum dot uh, jpeg file jpg file here uh, this is just an icon i copied from google nothing much here okay why we need need in the sense like uh, whenever we create a notification the notification should have the image of the product or the extension okay so that's why we have kept this image so here you can see like we are getting this notification again okay now let me explain how it is work so for as usual like all the if you have watched all my chrome extension tutorial you know that the first very thing we have to do is the manifest.json file so here we can give the name uh, description and version uh, version is 1.0 this version belongs to this particular extension whereas this manifest version belongs to the chrome api so uh, in all our project we use the version 2 now we are using the latest 
version 3. Even if you are using version 2, that is fine. That will be supported for another 10 years. But after that, of course, you have to migrate your Chrome extension from the version 2 to the version 3. In our case, not a big deal that's fine i believe okay and here we have to use the background and survey service worker is something new in manifest version 3 previously we call it like background only but now uh, the name is changed to service worker not only the name the few of the um, internal apis also changed we'll talk about that maybe in some another video okay and then we have the permissions so what are the permissions we need of course the notifications uh, because um, in the windows it's showing notifications right so for that we need this and the alarms of course we need this this is what is creating the notification in a loop okay and storage is not required as of now but i will tell you why we need storage and how we can enhance this extension okay and then for by actions we have so this was early, early, earlier it is known as like a, a browser action now it is changed to actions and here we have default pop-up pop-up.html file if i go to my pop-up.html file it's a very simple file uh, these are just a template what we have here is the script tag which is referring to our pop-up.js file and here we have a button called uh, id called btn so like if i go to the extension here you can see like this is the uh, button with the id called btn so once i click on the set alarm then only the alarm will start and similarly you can to another button like stop alarm so you won't get any notification further okay now here uh, so far it's clear right now we have this pop-up.js which is very simple what we are trying to do is we are trying to grab the element get element by uh, id called btn and then we are adding an event listener so whenever i do the click action it will send the message okay and this messaging part already we have discussed a lot of time right so chrome dot runtime dot send message and here i have given a object like time one with the value one but uh, this is just a dummy we are not using this but i will tell you how we can use this as well okay and once we send the message it should received in the service worker that is nothing but the background.js file so here you can see like chrome dot runtime on message so this is like your event listener and here already we know that this will have a callback function with request a sender and the send, send response okay and here i'm just printing the request just to show that uh, of course it's not needed i can comment it as well and send response is also not needed we can comment that as well okay and here i'm checking like the request might have like multiple name right so here uh, we have given the name as time so based on so if the request has the time then we are creating our first alarm okay not first alarm i mean we are creating our alarm so if i go to this create alarm function you can see it's very easy one okay so here we have a api called chrome dot alarms dot create and within that we have to give the id first like what is the id of this particular alarm and then we have two things one is the delay in minutes and another one is the period in minutes okay so both i have given the one value but you can change this now once the alarm is started we have a listener called chrome dot alarms dot on alarm so whenever there is an alarm it will just like keeps on listening what it will do in the sense like it will just add the notification so here we have like chrome dot notification dot create and that needs a id but don't use the id if you give the id in the sense like what will happen means uh, we'll get the first notification but after that uh, the notification will be there but we won't get that message from windows okay but if you remove the id uh, the identifier of the notification it will just generate a new new notification again and again okay and here we are using the basic uh, notification where we have to give the icon url which is this uh, alum.jpg file and title is like stay hydrated so if you see the notification we are getting like stay hydrated and after that we have the message like have a sip of water human something like that you can give it and silent in the sense like uh, if you don't want to um, get the notification message or this pop-up we can make it as true but by default it is false only so again remove that as well that is fine okay 
So that's it very simple Chrome alarm extension. Now here I'm going to give you some ideas to enhance this. Okay. Uh, if you go and search for Chrome like drink water or reminder in Chrome extension, you will get plenty of uh, uh, Chrome extensions. But the backbone, but idea or the logical code is this only very simple thing okay so what we can do is in the pop-up page uh, we can have like one more button like uh, stop alarm so if i don't want to get any notification probably i can click on that and that will stop the uh, alarm to stop the alarm we have a function called like uh, let me show you that as well okay so chrome um, extension alarms so here we have a function like clear okay you can just uh, call this function on clicking of the stop button you can call this function with the name so name is what name is like user defined so whatever we have given here to create the alarm we have to give the same so once we clear it there won't be any further notifications or the alarm okay and then uh, what we can do how we can improve improve in the sense like as of now like i have set it to like one of course for each and every minute we cannot drink the water there will be a problem right but let's say that you are working too hard you are able and you forgot to drink water or whatever the notification it is let's say that you want to set a time for like 30 30 minutes right so you can have a text box here and you can get the value and what you can do is you can pass that uh oh. in the popup.js okay so here like instead of one i can make it like 30 so whatever the input values will be there we have to fetch that and we have to pass it here then what i what can i do is i can use the chrome storage api to store the value and while setting it instead of like hard coding the value i can use the chrome storage api to get the value okay already we have discussed a to do application using the chrome storage uh, api so if you have missed that i will leave a link in the description you can probably check that one okay so that's it for this video very simple video that's why i'm not coding anything and showing you the actual but i think you got the idea if you have watched my previous video we have already discussed about these notifications we have already discussed about this uh, message how to get the message from pop-up to the content script or the background script or even the dev tools right so only thing we learned today is the chrome alarms and this on alarm listener okay so that's it for this video if you have still any queries and if you want me to show you how to enhance this alarm with multiple buttons and how to read the text from the text box and set it using the storage i will happy to do that okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care